What an opening shot fired by the Yankees in their offense in this four game series in Chicago against the White Sox. A 15 hit attack, 15 runs in a big offensive performance. Yeah, Bob, but I, I think the difference with this team is all about the bottom of the seventh inning in this game, and you fast forward to the top of the eighth. When the Yankees had a three run lead with their bullpen, you feel like the game's over. Loisica goes out there in the seventh, has a tough inning. What do the Yankees do? They come right back with seven. I know Joe Kelly was Joe Kelly like he usually is. He had some control issues. Yankees had some really good at bats. And then you have to question Tony La Russa keeping his left hander to face Stanton instead of having him face Rizzo. Yankees take advantage of all of that in the eighth inning and get a seven run lead and just blow it wide open. Right. Those puzzling La Russa decisions will hover over this game but will also hover over this game is the fact the Yankees were resilient and resourceful and Bob as you said very powerful first seven runs of this game built around power two homers by Stanton and a homer by Judge the next seven runs start with patience three walks against the bullpen if they're not going to throw strikes don't swing at the pitches that's what the Yankees did at the bottom of the order and then they were able to add in that seven run eighth that John talked about this is what this offense can do it is built around power but we also saw some running the bases some timely hitting and as I said some patience as well which makes it different from the 2021 version of the Yankees. Yeah, five different Yankees knocked in runs tonight. 